When it comes to communication, Americans are very open <laughs> and not shy. So my best advice for an au pair would be not to worry or be nervous. I have lots of au pairs who call me and say, can you talk to my host family about so-and-so? I want to talk to them about it, but I don't want it to be weird or uncomfortable. And I say, it will be much more uncomfortable if I call them and say, your au pair really wants you to buy yogurt at the grocery store. Um, so then I, you know, I'm always happy to talk to a host family if there's a problem or help an au pair talk to a host family if there's a problem. But my first advice, especially if it's something like food or home, um, which is common, um, you know, this is a cultural exchange program. We're exchanging cultures. So there's gonna be times where you say, wait, your culture is weird. Or like, ah, that's not how my mom does it at home. So um, my best advice is open and, on and, open and honest communication in the beginning will save you problems down the road. Um, it's very typical, for example, um, in Brazil, they have their main meal at lunchtime. And in America, we have our main meal at dinner time. So I have many, many Brazilian au pairs who make a big meal at lunchtime and they think it's horrible that Americans will eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich while they're walking down the street and that's lunch. And then the American host family wants to have a big dinner and the au pair is like, what is this? Like, we don't have a big dinner. So talk, 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 talk. So if an au pair feels that their host family is breaking the rules, um, they should call their community counselor. Um, when I first meet with au pairs, I say, call me right away if you have a problem. Call me when the problem is this big. Don't wait three months and call me when the problem's this big. Um, because that happens sometimes. I'll have an au pair call and say, well, I didn't want to tell you, but three months ago this thing happened. And I always say, why didn't you tell me right away? So first is call your counselor. Um, and your community counselor wants to make sure that everyone is following the rules. Like I said, we're not on the side of the au pair. We're not on the side of the host family. We're on the side of the match and the rules. <laughs> so um, there are times when, um, for example, an au pair has called me and said, I'm working over hours. And I said, okay, let's write down your hours. Tell me when you're working. And it turned out that the host dad was coming home and taking a shower. And the au pair thought that she was supposed to be working. And he thought, I'm home, you know, I can, I'm in charge now, she can leave. And it was an issue of, communication so if she had said hey when you get home to take your shower can I put the kids in front of the TV and leave uh, then and he would have said yeah that's fine or if he had said hey by the way when I come home to take a shower you can put the kids in front of the TV and leave um, so communication 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 is the theme of the day um, but so that's one scenario where the the counselor will help you kind of figure out how to talk to your host family about it if it's something different than that, where your host family has said, I know you're only supposed to work 45 hours a week, but can you work 50 hours this week? That's not okay. Um, so in that scenario, typically the, the counselor will talk you through how to handle it. And if necessary, I'll step in and say, you know, I'm going to call your host family now. Um, and it's always better for you to get it out in the air. Again, Americans are very, open and communicative and we're gonna say um, hey you're breaking the rules and that's okay that's just how we handle it I would much rather um, have to have an unpleasant conversation than have an au pair who feels like they have to work more hours than they should or do work that they shouldn't do or be breaking some part of the program rules I would say the most common cause of rematch is miscommunication. So, um, and that starts before you even leave your home country. <laughs> so when you are interviewing with a host family, um, it's really important to ask about um, what do their weekends look like? What do their weeknights look like? Um, if you want to live in a house where everyone comes for dinner and games and it's a loud and boisterous house, you need to tell them that. If you're very quiet and you want to live in a house with people who are very quiet, you need to tell them that too. So 
Um, I've had um, a host family who um, like to eat a lot of meat and make these big meals match with an au pair who was a vegetarian who came and um, she was a triathlete and she did not eat any meat and this host family made a lot of big gourmet meals and like to sit at home and watch movies and neither of those are bad right nothing it's not bad it's not good it's just different so um, eventually they went into rematch and that au pair went and found another vegetarian family and I found a, a uh, au pair to come and live with his family who loved meat and it was fine so I do tell my host families that uh, and au pairs that rematch is not a bad word sometimes it's the best thing that can happen um, once you know a little bit more about the program and what you're looking for rematch can be a, a good thing it's stressful um, it's not fun for that two weeks but ultimately it can be a good thing So in the case of a rematch, the community counselor's job is to make sure that the au pair um, has somewhere to go in two weeks and that the host family has someone to replace her in two weeks. Um, both the host family and the au pair know that during rematch, um, the host family continues to house and pay the au pair and the au pair continues to provide quality childcare with a smile on her face for those two weeks. Um, again, it's not necessarily the most fun time, um, but as long as everyone is um, civilized, it usually passes quickly. Um, my best advice is for the au pair to talk to your counselor every day, be responsive. So if you're getting messages from potential host families on Facebook or email or whatever, or phone, you better be on the phone <laughs> um, and do the best job you can caring for those kids for two weeks because many host families who would be considering you may ask to speak to your current host family and you want them to say, oh yeah, during the two week rematch period, she continued to do a good job caring for the children. Just because you're in rematch for whatever reason doesn't mean it has to be ugly. It doesn't have to be unpleasant. Um, and then as far as during rematch, the um, host families are able to search through au pairs who are currently available and contact them. Um, your community counselor is also um, in the mix too and can um, post to our Facebook group that goes to all the counselors around the country. Hey, I have this great au pair who's in rematch because blah, 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 blah. She's looking for a great host family. Please let me know. Um, so the host families can be searching. Um, the community counselors are also helping to facilitate the rematch. Um, and again, the au pairs can be um, available by phone. Make sure you're being responsive and do the best job you can for those two weeks. In the case that an au pair is not able to stay with their host family during the two week rematch period, um, the most important thing is that you try your very best to make it work. Again, it can be uncomfortable or awkward, um, but it, the best thing is to stay with your host family. But let's say it's not possible to stay with your host family anymore during that two weeks, then your community counselor is responsible for housing you during that time. Um, I have had au pairs who say, oh, I have a friend I'm going to stay with, or, um, you know, I had travel plans, um, but generally speaking, the community counselors all know that they are responsible for housing au pairs um, during emergency situations during rematch.